everyone, this is my vlog and today I am gonna comment about the movie I watched earlier which titled General Luna. So, I'm gonna start now. General Luna tells us a more detailed account of a life of one of the revolutionary heroes who learned about in school. Yet, no, practically about General Antonio Luna. Practically, we all know about him is that he had a very bad temper which gained him a lot of enemies, eventually leading to his assassination. So, aside from telling us specific situation where this legendary temper flared up, we also get to meet him more intimately as a leader, as a soldier, as a son, and as a man. Even from his intense penetrating gaze and formidable mustache in the poster alone, you already know John Arcelia. John Arcelia will be excellent in this film. His comic timing was impeccable. It was a most vibrant performance of a most vivid man, making him really loom larger than life. He was over the top in his explosiveness. Just the way Taro wanted him to be. The way he was built up. We were ready for that climatic assassination scene. However, outrageous, outrageous the savagery. Mon Confiado was a picture of ironic calm as President Emilio Aguinaldo. The more movies we watch about the revolution certainly brings up more and more questions about the controversial Aguinaldo. Noni Buen Camino was so slimy at his trackeros surname say Felipe Buen Camino that nonchalant look on Lawrence Martinez's face was so hateful as he said the role of the equality of the General Tomas Mascardo. It was also such a big casting risk and surprise to put known comedians in such scary rules like Epicism as Apollinari Mabini, Leo Martinez as Pedro Paterno, Chapu Sebio as the vengeful Captain Pedro Hanolino. I must admit their presence can be distracting in certain dramatic moments. Particularly, Eusebio, or maybe that was their purpose to balance out the severe seriousness of those scenes. Immediately upon the filmmakings, filmmakers were aiming high for this film. The initial introductory text were written in English, signifying intention for this film film to make the rounds of foreign film festivals and though I read that there were even certain reels with English subtitles shown in some more upscale cinemas. The presence of disclaimers stating that this is a work of fiction inspired by fact could somehow raise an uneasy question as to how much fiction in there is among facts. This film was will also grab you with this with its gorgeous semi 
cinematography. I'm sorry. The images on the big screen had such vivid colors and innovative camera angles and the period production design and the costume design were meticulous in detail. During a beautiful during a beautifully edited flashback sequence there was a styled scene about results ex execution that was so uniquely and hauntingly rendered then there are most gruesome and graphic special effects showing the violent brutally or warfare of will which will shock you the historically storytelling was very clear exciting and engaging from beginning to end with a fresh graphic novel feel to it humor was such an unexpected yet integral element of the script from those crisp of colors expletives of Luna to those sarcastic side comments of Lieutenant Rosca which ruled Archie Ale Alemania and many more in between of different shades the patriotic sentiments were very poetically written but the way they were delivered here filled felt sincere they did not sound preachy or cheesy like when such lines were mouthed by Robin Padilla in Bonifacio or George Versito in El Presidente just like a Marvel film there was an extra scene in the middle of the closing credits suggesting a next film featuring Paolo Avellino as General Gregorio Il Pilar. There was also a brief cameo appearance of Benjamin Alves as a young Manuel Elkinson hinting at the possible trilogy. This is a very exciting plan indeed which I hope will materialized given the success of the movie General Luna. This film leads a mad charge on horseback with race fist against Filipinos who say they love their country yet look out for their personal interests first. So now let's hope the strong message hits its target. So so that's all for for now that's it and thank you